or bridging the gap between law enforcement and the community. That was the focus of a virtual public discussion today between two local police chiefs and civil rights leaders. The topics of discussion included community policing and how to prevent racial bias from influencing officers' interactions with citizens. But we need to move beyond words and words on paper and get it to practice. And the one way that we can do that is start utilizing our own communities to uh, help solve. That's the true definition of community policing, where the community and the police departments come together to create a better environment. Well, I think one Thank of the you. biggest things that we can do is uh, open up our data to public scrutiny. The data we collect as a police organization belongs to the community. And historically, we have probably not done a good enough job about documenting what we do, who we stop, when we stop, and under those circumstances. Until we diversify the police force, then these issues can be addressed. It won't be addressed until then. First, we have to hire the right people, okay? Because all the training in the world will not stop you from being who you truly are. You know, we've got body worn cameras. The group 200 plus men hosted this morning's virtual discussion.